Well, we are back at Lake of the Woods Marina. Today is a very happy day. The sun is shining, the water is calm, and we are headed back down to Uncle Mark's Outpost. We haven't been there since like middle of March. So very exciting. There's that time of year where the ice gets a little sketchy. There is some current in the area where the cabin's at. So those are sometimes the first areas where the ice goes. But anyways, we're headed back to Uncle Mark's. Not sure what we're all doing today, but we're definitely hauling down some supplies, bringing the friendship down, mooring the friendship. And we have a shipment coming from Artspan. Stay tuned. Oh! That sounds all right. Yeah. Is the shotgun mic working? Yeah. <laughs> You made sure of that today? Yeah. Well, wait till this guy's done making a racket. What do we got here, Scott? What are we doing? Hopefully, setting the anchor for the friendship. We're mooring it. So, don't want to keep it at the dock all summer. We're going to moor it down by Uncle Mark. Read into all the legalities, did our homework. We bought this massive mooring ball. If you drive in downtown Kenora, you can see a couple in the by the harbor front. There's a couple around the lake. But yeah, you can keep it out from your property. Um, so that's what we're doing. We got a big con concrete anchor, a couple feet of chain, and then this buoy. But we got to put our address on here to make sure we're all legit. See how good the Sharpie works. Oh, there's our man. Everything happens all at once usually, eh? <laughs> All right, now we got to unload the Artspan the, uh, shipment. Big day. Artspan, here on Windows, they're partnering on this project and we got a pretty sweet little building going up. Based out of Winkler, same thing with Artspan. Southern Manitoba has been a big part of this project. A lot of Mennonites, a lot of Southern Manitoba companies. This is the door. First shipment is ready to head down to Uncle Mark's outpost here on windows and doors. And we got the art span panels here too. They make cabins, garage packages, all ice shacks, as you've seen in that past video I did with Keevan. And we're using it as a bunkie. So this is where, you know, when we go down to the outpost where I might stay if there's guests in the cabin, where Spencer might stay. Uh, if Sam kicks me out of the house, go sleep in the bunkie at the art span down at the outpost. So. Lots of potential for it, but just one more living quarters plus the friendship. So yeah, we'll have lots of beds down there. Abu Dhabi, that was an interesting project. Wow. So, really? <laughs> yeah. I just love oh, that whatever. name, Abu Dhabi. <laughs> <laughs> Mark? Yes. Excited to get back? Abu Dhabi? Well, no. <laughs> to your yeah, island. Yeah, yeah. I'm When's excited. the last time you've been there? Uh, middle of March. Yeah. I think Matei and I and Mason Underrated. went down. And sorry, give, let's give a little yeah. shout out to your business. What's your business called, guys? Uh, my company's called Hunter Wire Limited. Hunter Wire. And you do, you were just saying you do some rinks and... Yeah, so we do products, uh, manufactured products out of steel wire. Yeah. Um, so one of our primary products goes into indoor ice rinks, but we do uh, mesh, um, fan guards, custom bar forming, paint hooks, um, fabrication. Um, railings in cabins and, on Lake of the Woods. And yes, most importantly, railings in cabins on Lake of the Woods. <laughs> <laughs> Back. Back at Uncle Mark's outpost. We're probably like episode 20 something by now. And the water's pretty clear off the dock. This is uh this is nice. I brought a rod along, so I might take a cast off the dock yet. The water is a lot lower. But a couple things we're doing. We did get some new docks on the way. Because that's an important for the guest experience, is good docks. And a longer ramp. This ramp's kind of steep. So keep that in mind if you're booking a trip. But we got some stuff to unload, but yeah. We got the boys measuring for the railing. Let's take a look. There's a couple, couple changes since I was last year. Does anyone remember the code for the door? Oh, this deck is so sweet, man. Oh yeah, I love the size of this deck. This is the funniest part right here. Us trying to figure out the combination back into our building. Nice. We're back.
Well, we got things unloaded. Guys, when you don't see footage of something, it means that it actually helped. It means I was actually lifting. We got the windows, doors, panels unloaded. Windows, some of the panels. Well, this is just the first part of our day. Now we gotta go drop the anchor for the mooring ball. Put some background music in while I'll salute as it goes down. Ready? All right, Mark. Go. Make it happen. Look at that. Yeah, let's move it. Is it too late to move it, Scotty? <laughs> well, we'll just hook right up to it. That's where it is. That's where it is. We're going to bring Mark back to the island, drop him off for the week. I'm going to my natural pose. <laughs> All right, well, once again, I set the camera down to do some physical labor, but we got the rest of the art span panels loaded. These are like, yeah, it's a very cool structure. You'll see when we put it together, that'll be another video, but we're leaving the marina. Yeah, those guys measure everything for railings, so hopefully we get railings in a couple weeks. We need those obviously for safety, legal reasons, and we're gonna drop this off. We're gonna hook the friendship up to the mooring ball, and that'll probably be, probably be it for today, but can't wait to start staying down at the cabin. We caught up with the friendship. She's cruising. <laughs> Unloading the rest of the art span. That'll do, I think. You're right on the reef there. That's where the bass live. We're just waiting for the friendship to swing around there. We'll be able to see it from the cabin, which is perfect. We just didn't want to put it right in front for people to, for it to be an issue. The rules are you can't have it on a main travel route and ideally, you know, near your property. So that's where we're at. You can see the dock in the background. Look at that, they're doing work to the hotel. That thing's been uh, out of commission for quite some time. Welcome to downtown Kenora. Uh, it is just a stunning day. It is the week before the May long weekend, which is really when like Kenora comes alive, I feel. First long weekend, open water, everyone's coming back to their cabins. We got like two weeks, June 1st. June 1st is opening day for Uncle Mark's Outpost. A lot of stuff we have to do. It's a bit overwhelming, but we got a good crew, we got good people in place. Look how full my Alumacraft is. We got bedding. We got more bedding. We got rod racks. We got all the stuff for the kitchen, uh, utensils, more bedding, bookshelf, rod rack, garbage cans, steamer. I don't know what we all got here. Lots of stuff. Um, I'm excited to see what the guys have been up to. It's gonna be lots of trips back and forth between June 1st. Hopefully we get to do some fishing too. Today is gonna be basically a supply run and then maybe we'll take a look at the water system. That's something on the to-do list, but it's a pretty long list and we got about two weeks left. Welcome back to Uncle Mark's Outpost. I guess it's my second time here this year, but first time back in the Alumacraft and dang, does it feel good. <laughs> always, always wear your kill cord. Wear a life jacket. I wear my kill cord around my wrist just like that and I'm safe if I pop out. All right, well, we're back. Um, something I heard is the last few bits of building are sometimes the most expensive. And I thought, oh no, we've spent most of the money, man. All the bedding and the uh, appliances and all the stuff, man, it, it adds up. We've been, we've been putting some, some money, some work into this. And thanks to all you guys that have been helping. But uh, the, the end is in sight. We got, uh, yeah, a bit of, bit of everything right now. Vase, coffee makers, Garbage cans. So this rod rack I got here, it's made by my uncle Rick. He made the other nice rod rack that we pulled up before the camera's rolling, but I uh, attached some of my angler awards on the inside here. People maybe don't know this, Ontario has an angler award as well. It's not as well known as a Mantua Master Angler Award, but I got a whitefish in 2010, Northern Pike, a trout.
You guys are leaving just when I show up. Just when you show up, when all the work starts. All the work, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's left to do? Just a couple things? Uh, I wish I'd have it done by tonight. <laughs> <laughs> all right, my goal is to clean up this kitchen. And because I'm not really that good at tools, I'm gonna do the cleaning, organizing, and deal with this whole situation right here. The guy's got a lot of jobs going on, working on the stairs, working on the posts for the railings, working on the window trim. Soon we'll be able to get the scaffolding out of here. There's a lot, there's a lot going on. Here we go. That's what we're dealing with. Well, we got Taylor here and he planted some grass. This is the gray water field where all the water goes from our uh, shower and sink. Thank you, Mark. We got Taylor. Cleaning things up. It's gonna look good in a couple weeks. Yeah, so Taylor already seeded this whole area. Now he's doing over there by the pit, and I think eventually we'll do the other side here. We just got so many materials and boards, but I think that's gonna happen yet tomorrow. I think this area over here is gonna get seeded, so it's gonna look beautiful. It's it's tough to envision it right now because it looks like a bomb went off, but we're getting there. This is okay with flip-flops. What are you doing, Matei? Matei Tay? Day Day burning some boards. Burning some boards, look at this. He's an artist. These are for the window trims? Yeah, correct. You burn it and then whitewash it? Yeah. This is that uh, burnt window trim we were talking about that Matei was doing. Looking good. Well, we're taking a break from the cleanup. We are rationing our food. But I cooked tonight and I told the guys we are gonna have some fine dining. And Mate wanted hot dogs. That looks beautiful. There you go. Bon appetit. What day is this? I have no idea. Day 220. No, it's over <laughs> three. Well, son! <laughs> Mark hasn't left the island in over a year. Um. I didn't really film too much of a conclusion last night because I was working. We cleaned up the kitchen. We uh, moved a lot of lumber for seating on the other side. Taylor's going to see the other side of the cabin today. I'm going to go take down the prospector's tent because that's where our r span building is going. And hopefully we turn the water system on. We tried turning it on yesterday off camera and a hose went pop and there's water all over the kitchen. So we're going we're gonna to redo that today with different results. Yep. That's all I got. Yep, so we need to finish the posts. You can see the posts here, ba, ba, ba We need to finish the posts all the way around here. Taylor did a great job finishing the deck. And then right here, you can see this is the cleanest the yard's been in a while. We're raking it off and we need to move those couple more boards, but it's getting there. This will all be seated with grass. It's gonna take a while. It's not gonna be like, by the time the first group comes, it's still gonna look a little, a little bit under construction, but that's just the nature of it. But anyways, we're gonna go take down Prospector Tent. It is windy today. We're good. All right, we're done. Cleaned up in a couple weeks, week and a half, we're gonna put together the art span. This is gonna be for overflow, but more so for me or Spencer or Scotty if we're down here working, guiding, whatever it might be, so. But I did find this nice barbecue brush sauce. Barbecue sauce brush. It's an early morning. Things are looking good. Got some cleaning done. We got room. Lots of room. AYA cabinets. These are amazing. Huge shout to AYA. A lot of storage. This will be good for guests. Well, Taylor's now seeing the other side. This is going to look beautiful when it's all green. You remember when it's a mud pit when all the heavy machinery was here? So it's definitely cleaned up a lot. This railing's going to look great from Hunter Wire. Uh, once the posts are in, I think we're gonna get that the wire chunks to size. And they're gonna come help install that, but uh, you know, even though it's a mess, it looks pretty amazing out here.
quite annoying and loud. Okay, I'm leaving. Yeah. Goodbye, Mark. Goodbye, Goodbye Taylor. See ya. Goodbye, Matete. See you. Anything else? Well, I didn't film as much of an update as I normally do, but that's because I was I was doing stuff. Well, we got the grass planted thanks to Taylor. Seeded, I guess. We saw a muskie off the dock. Very, very cool. All right, just saw a muskie. We'll see if he comes out on this side. There he is, look at this. Unreal. Look at this. Right off the dock at Uncle Mark's. Amazing. Uh, I was hoping to get the water system dialed. I had a couple chats with Gary and we're starting to prime the system. So that's like a two day process. Very excited to get the water turned on. Then we can do dishes and get the shower going and lots of good things. But thank you for following along on this adventure. And there's a turtle under the dock. Look at the wildlife today. All right guys, wear your life jackets on the water and we will catch you very soon. Couple days till we open camp, officially.